okay now let us understand pool capacity okay pool capacity is what a pool capacity is used for two model manufacturing resources that will be shared by many work center okay for example you are having five production line that each required an operator for entire duration that machine to run that machine but we are only four operators in your resource pool therefore only four machines will be run but four resource managed five machines then it is called as a pool capacity are you getting my point do you understand what they are saying here they are saying there are four four machines let one let two let three let four okay and you are having only one operator okay one operator and that one operator can be used to run all these four machines okay it is actually it is supposed to that one person one machine should be there but company is made some automation or some cycle time adjustment such a way that he can go operate this machine and run the cycle when the cycle is running or machining operation is happening meanwhile he can go ahead load the machine and start the machine okay he will go to the next machine and he will start this machine and run okay and then he'll go to this machine and he'll start run meanwhile once he complete this cycle then meanwhile this first machine will be get completed with the operation he can go over here now unload the product load new product put the cycle start go to the next again unload the product and load the product coming from this previous machine and keep the start a cycle on and can move on like this and continuously we will do in a cyclic manner like this so what is here saying saying if you have five production line or like four production line and each requires an operator for entire duration that machines to run but you have only four operator now here we were saying four operator but i am saying here only one operator who can operate this all four machine okay so one is to one relation is not available one is to many relation is available okay so work center which is having the same capacity type can be assigned with the pool work uh, with the pool capacity okay so work center with which are having same capacity same capacity means what here whatever we see in a capacity okay same capacity type okay so those we can have pool capacity so let us see cr11 okay let me get out of this first save slash and cr11 is it equal to create okay so let us create one capacity called as a pool capacity okay so i will use okay so cr11 is a t4 plant is 1000 pool capacity we are going to create now okay so we are going to use pool b15 as a capacity capacity planner group is going to be we have created one b one pi right so we'll use that okay then we'll click on this pool capacity for this and we can update our shift time machine time 6 a.m in the morning okay and it will close 6 a.m in the evening and we will having uh one hour 20 minutes break 20 minutes break okay so our percentage of capacity is 22.67 now i will save this Now, if I go to any work center slash in CR02 in this PS mold, if I go to capacity, now we are not created into the pool capacity. So if we create a new work center, so we can add it as a pool capacity over here. If you click on this pool capacity, it can be used for that machine whatever we are having and this machine is going to be have same pool capacity okay so they this machine can be uh, utilized same 
uh, operator or they can utilize same machine for the operation purpose. Okay. Clear? Now we cannot edit because it's already created. While creating new, we can have a full capacity as an option updated over here. Okay, team. Now let us move to the next part. That is a sir. Uh, what, sir? How can we see the difference? Sir? Like we are just updating an indicator. That's all. So. Ha. Huh. We have to just update that uh, pool capacity over here. So this machine is going can be uh, eligible for the pool capacity. Means you can uh, use a common resource from other machines or common resource from other uh, production uh, capacity. That is only indicator available over here. Okay, nothing else. Yeah. How 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 is it going to impact in my uh, the screen or in in the result? How how will it? It is not going to impact unless and until you are having uh, some kind of when while you are doing the planning at that time you can use another machine. Okay, another person for this machine for uh, minor operating. Okay, so your individual capacities can be uh, increase or decrease. Okay. According to that, I will show you tomorrow one example. Okay, how to do it. Okay, let let ah, me. Ah yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, please. Yeah. So how what is exactly use of this full capacity? Hmm? I will try. Can okay, sir. Yeah. Rerun, rerun this part. Okay. Now there is a reference capacity. Okay, so reference capacity is like that. Let us understand what is a reference capacity. Slash n c r 11. Okay, so same decode for CR11. So here I'm clicking now for reference B15. Okay, now this is a reference. Now you remember we have created uh, MRP profile. Okay, MRP profile, which is used as a template, right? Now, if we can create a machine, okay. While creating machine, if you use these as a reference capacity, okay. And in this reference capacity, we are maintaining whatever data. So same data is going to be applicable for the machine, which is going to create it with this reference. Okay. So suppose I have created a reference capacity with this and I will save it. Okay. So can you see reference capacity? I'm just creating B15 and all. Okay. Factory calendar I will use. F5, okay. Chalo. Then I will save it. I reference B15. Now, if I'm going to create a new word center, slash and CR01. Okay. What is small? Okay, word center category 001. Okay. I will use this something like this and I will go to capacities. Okay. So, um, So reference available capacity, I'm going to use a reference RES. RF B15. Okay. Okay. So you can see automatically my timings has been updated over here. Can you see? I have not updated manually. It's come from reference available capacity. Clear? Hello? Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, now sir. I'll yes. Now I'll save it. Planet did not. Pardon? Okay. Let me. So we have created the right change. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. Let me complete first this. Okay, I will get back to. Let us go to our existing machine, PSL PLS mold. Okay, let me go to capacity, and here in capacity tab. Okay, I will update reference capability as a 
reflect 315. Now, once I click on this, you can see over here. This value they're going to change here. Length break is not 120. It length breaks for reference capacity is only one hour. Okay. Enter. So you can see changes happen here. Can you see your existing PSL mode yeah. system is a, changes has been done. Now save. Now what is the use of this uh, reference capacity? Now if I go to slash and CR 12, I'm going to edit this reference capacity. Okay. Now I'm saying from tomorrow onwards, my shift timing is going to be up to 22. Okay. Only two shifts. Reference capacity, I'm making a changes. And I will save it. Okay. Now, if you go to your slash and CR02, okay, for PS mold. Can you see changes happen here also? Okay, if we use reference available capacity, then you, we cannot change the standard of available capacity. Yes, because it is normal. Relevant. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is non editable because it is reference available capacity has been activated. True. Okay, now what does it mean? Suppose, what is the use of it? Try to understand. Suppose your company is having 100 machines. Okay. Getting my point? And now tomorrow, yeah. you uh, my bad, yeah. 100 machines and tomorrow you have to make some changes like you have to change the shift. We decided now we will run only for three shifts or two instead of three shifts, we work on only two shifts. That is the change is there. Then how we can apply change to each and every machine by going one by one? No. So what is better thing? You should create a reference capacity. Get one. Once that get that reference capacity assigned to all the machine center or all the work center. And then using CR12 T code, you can make a changes. Okay. Whatever changes you want. Now, if I want to make it again, 06. So make the changes, save the changes, and they will reflect on your existing work center for which you are updated the capacity. Okay. So again, if you go, you can see the incapacity changes will be get updated all for, for all machine in one way. so this is one kind of mass changes okay can you see clear yes, everybody sir, if you want to remove normally uh, then ah you can remove now so, we don't want reference capacity center okay remove it save it again it become editable okay hmm. clear Bunny, are you clear? This work center is kind of a dummy thing, sir. Hello. Yes, it is a dummy okay. work center. Dummy capacity. Sir, am I audible? It is dummy capacity center, okay. not work center. Okay. This is dummy reference and work center. Okay. This is getting a reference capacity okay. center. Okay. Clear. Okay. 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 Clear. Okay. So let's connect in another uh, next video. Oh, sorry, I will share a next link. Okay. Join on that. Hmm? Clear team. Okay, sir.